Governor John Kasich ordered flags be flown at half staff at public buildings throughout Ohio from sunrise to sunset to commemorate 9 11. The attacks happened 11 years ago, but the memory is forever etched in our minds. News Channel 5's Deborah Lee has more. Well, you know, there are people who've not flown or visited a foreign country since 9 11. Others, most of us, have found ways to cope with our concerns that 9 11 brought. But even though we appear to have moved on, we will never forget. The clear September sky over Cleveland this evening looked a lot like it did on September 11th, 2001. Lewis here still remembers that day. When United 93 came over Cleveland, we saw it circled around and go back. And he often wears a shirt honoring safety forces everywhere who are the first to respond to tragedies like 9-11. I was very angry. Of what happened. In fact, everyone we met here in Tremont tonight remembered the feelings they had when they saw America under attack. Uh, a lot of anxiety, fear. The impact of that day is still inside all of us, according to psychologist Ellen Casper. However, she says we've learned how to cope with our fears and move on. Because if we stayed back in that moment, none of us would ever leave our homes again. We haven't forgotten, but the image has, instead of being bright red, it's become a little softer pink or a little gray to allow us to integrate the enormity of the tragedy with our daily lives. Are you still as angry as you were 11 years ago? Good question. Um, I don't think I'm angry. It happened. You can't change the fact that it, you know, it happened. It's just, you just have to honor and remember the, you know, the people who, who died that day. And there are a number of observances throughout Northeast Ohio tomorrow to commemorate 9-11, including a candlelight vigil tomorrow night from 6 to 9 at the Square in downtown Elyria. Deborah Lee, News Channel 5.